I'll tell you one thing, I'm getting goosebumps across really into this thing. This is for the vacant oh. Ring Magazine and WBC Welterweight hey, Championship of the world. Gentlemen, your instructions in the dressing room. I'm going to remind you of a few things now. When hey, I say hey, stop, over. what that means is stop whatever you're now. doing and give me a clean break. Protect she yourself at all times. Yeah, Obey my commands at all times. Anything on the belt here is good. Anything on the belt here is good. Gentlemen, both of you are championship caliber competitors. I want and I expect a clean, competitive fight. Mr. Wayweather, Mr. Guerrero, let's do this. Let's go, let's go. All right. The welterweight championship of the world, 147 pounds. Remember, Guerrero is a southpaw. So we've got to be aware of headbutts, the outside positioning of the front feet, the stepping on each other. Guerrero's got the scowl, and Mayweather looks just perfectly where he belongs in life, in the ring. When you watch Mayweather, talk about the shoulder roll as he's able to get it up and then move out of the direction of the punch, sometimes even rocking back on his heels and then coming forward. Mayweather likes to settle into a situation and then get the right hand lead going. Now Ray's doing exactly that, Dave. Tap, tap, tap with the left hand. He's touching the glove of Guerrero, then he'll throw the right hand. Stop, stop, stop! Robert Bird, I get an idea, is going to have his uh, hands filled tonight. Guerrero's a tough guy, and at some stage, he's going to try to rough this guy up. That's got to be his fight plan at some stage. But he'll have to do whatever he can to disrupt the comfort level of Mayweather, because once Mayweather gets into that, he's been almost impossible to hit. It usually takes a couple rounds for him to settle in. Usually the guy hanging on to the head hey, is uh, Robert Guerrero, but it was Floyd Mayweather at that time. And Robert Bird, the referee, said, hey, no hanging on. Pretty even through the first minute and 15 seconds of this round. Stop. Tying up on the inside and fighting with the free hand. The southpaw and the right-handed fighter. When they do that, they both have their power hand free to blast at each other. Guerrero nailed him there. Caught him with a shot, and I thought that the legs might have fought him of the champ. Good body shot by Guerrero. Neither one of these guys have ever been down in their career, by the way. Sneaky right hand lead by Floyd, another right hand lead. Good body shot by Guerrero. 50 seconds, 49, 48, 47 seconds to go in the first round. So far, just what I expected. The Guerrero to be very, very competitive. Little misstep there by the champ, Floyd Mayweather. Guerrero trying to invest stop on stop. Step in up. later Step rounds up, with a couple of these nice body shots to Mayweather. Trying to slow him. Powering with the front hands, looking at both of them. Floyd goes with the right hand lead, and then Guerrero answers with a couple of body shots. Closing seconds of the first round here, and not a lot between the two of them. Got a bell. Bell. Boy, I don't know, Dave the one punishing punch if that's all there is to separate them so and I'm going to put that down on my score sheet as 10-9 for Guerrero this is round two and it's a chess match so far haven't noticed any ring rust and lack of hand speed of Floyd Mayweather he got a clip in the chin that time it's important for Guerrero to send his messages early to Mayweather in terms of power not let him get Watch your feet. in that comfort situation. But what Mayweather is doing is pause out there with the jab for a little range and then pot shots with the right hand and then usually doesn't get hit. 
but Guerrero is able to hit him off of that right hand. And one reason is Mayweather is moving straight as opposed to the angles. Now, Robert Bird is letting him go a little bit on the inside before he stopped him. As you saw, the good 10, 12, 15 seconds that he let them battle on the inside. That's got to be to the advantage of Guerrero if Robert Bird continues to allow that to go on as long as they have one hand free. Very quick as Floyd Mayweather to the amazement of the crowd in attendance. Mayweather, of course, in the gold trunks and Guerrero in the red trunks. They mix it up in the corner here. Halfway through round two. It's a good right hand lead by Mayweather. And again a round in which is not too much separating the two men. See Mayweather, as Dave said, gets position with the left hand and then pops the right hand in there. And goes and with it again. That's vintage Mayweather too with that right hand and then setting the tone and he's so quick he avoids getting hit in retaliation he's already been nailed a couple times by Guerrero give an indication maybe Guerrero will be able to do some things in this fight and in that one body shot that I separated the first round with it was right on top of the liver and that will get the attention of anybody especially a 36 year old fighter Guerrero continues to come forward, but that's the style of this man, Floyd Mayweather. He's a counter puncher and a great defensive fighter. The best ever, may he say, including myself. So slick. Another example of it, left hook and then backing up out of harm's way with the quick feet. But I think he will get hit a little bit more in this fight than the average. Maybe he chooses to make it that kind of style. Caught Guerrero just at the bell. Guerrero smiles at him. Here we go to round three. MGM Grand Garden Arena, Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm the Colonel Bob Sheridan with Dave Bontempo. Floyd Mayweather, gold and black trunks. In the red trunks, Robert Guerrero. He even fights so far. I gave Guerrero ever so slightly the first round and Mayweather the second round. Mayweather reaches him with that right hand lead again. That's been a successful weapon tonight for him. And look, here's Guerrero putting all kinds of pressure on and Mayweather darting out of harm's way because of the infinite edge he has in the reflexes. He's able to get away with breaking every kind of rule you could have in throwing a punch because he can dart out of that combat zone. Step out, step out, step out. Step out. He step even out. throws a lot of right hand leads against the righties. But he's especially enjoying it here. No, no, he goes no, no, with a no, sneaky no, no, right no, hand no, again with Guerrero who's coming in with his head down. Mayweather catches, catches, slips out of the way. I mean, this guy, 36 years old, I don't see any slowdown. I certainly don't see any ring rust. No, no, no uh, change in the reflexes as he jabs and darts away from the counter. And then scores with the lead right hand. Stop, stop! Step out! Let's go! Guerrero just continues to try to pressure him, and Mayweather spot shots. Well, Mayweather is on the verge of gaining that comfort zone we talked about, so Guerrero needs to take that away from him with pressure. Guy faints left, comes to his right, walks to his right, bounces off the ropes to the right hand lead, which puts it back in the center of the ring. Now he falls to the left hand. But I mean, it's a giant. I mean, he's, he snaps the left hand off. I mean, look at how well he's boxing right now. And look at the feet. Mayweather, as he scores the right hand here, could take two quick steps, throw the left hook, and then get out of the way. See, this is just terrific boxing by Mayweather. I mean, Guerrero is making this a fight, but Mayweather is just showing his hand speed. He didn't slow down a bit, as far as I can see. A lot of people thought he slowed down a bit against Cotto, but 
Boy, he doesn't look like he slowed down much here against Robert Guerrero. Yeah, he chose to make the Cotto fight uh, more of a straight-in type of a... Guerrero caught him with one really strong liver shot in the first round, and that might have been the only difference in the first round. And from there, Mayweather, masterful boxing as Guerrero continues to put the pace up. He, he reminds me, he must have watched the Rigondeaux the other night because he's fighting a lot like him right now. He could stay on the outside, score, and dart away. But there is purpose to his movement. Oh, yeah. Part of it is the escape, the first part of it. But then he can go back on a different angle and be first off the mark. But with Mayweather, the punching is one thing. But it's the movement and how he gets back into punching position, which is one of the essence elements of his genius. He got caught with a shot there, and then he answers right away to negate anything that the judges might have been thinking about, you know, leaning towards Robert Guerrero in this round with a minute gone. First minute of the round goes to Mayweather. Guerrero comes in and misses. This is getting frustrating for him now. We're only in the fourth round. When you're fighting him, you're not used to a guy that can circle around, take the long route quickly, and then come at you from an angle. Usually you attack a guy and he'll often have to reset. But Mayweather can punch, reset, get back into punching position in a split second's time. And that's what makes him so hard to fight. His reflexes look terrific to me tonight. Guerrero really has to be frustrated right now by this guy. Now off the move, we often see the left hand from Mayweather. Circling from this side, you usually see the right hand. Is that what we'll see next? He's luring Guerrero in. This time he, he just decides to stay on the rope and bangs Guerrero to the body. And now he exchanges with him out of the corner. This is what he did against Cotto. He said voluntarily to try to make it more entertaining for the public. I don't buy that for one instant. No, but he was trying to sell it. But he did voluntarily put himself in the corner yes, against he did. Guerrero. No yeah, need he, to do that. He, he really did it, and he did it right again. But, I mean, the, the obvious difference in this is the hand speed, which is phenomenal from the 36-year-old fighter. There's no loss in, the, in his hand speed that I can see a detect whatsoever in the closing seconds of the fourth round. Six, five, four, three, two. Got a bell, guys. Time! Junior, massive boxer that he is, showing his wares tonight. Doesn't show the age of 36 whatsoever to the 30-year-old Robert Guerrero, who's trying to force the fight as best he can. Trying to put as much pressure on him as he possibly can. Lloyd, of course, in the gold trunks with the black trim. Red trunks, the ghost Guerrero. Guerrero needs to fire the body shot right after showing this jab, but he walks into a smart right hand while he's debating where to go. You know, sometimes Mayweather has the left hand extended. You think that's all there is, and then all of a sudden there's about four more inches left of it, and he chops him with the left hand, and then he comes right back at him with the right. And then Guerrero coming in that time, and he gets like speed bag with the left step hand. Out, step out, step out. And that goes to what all that we were asking about when you watch him in the... Uh, locker room hitting those uh, those mittens all the time it's hand-eye coordination he's so quick with his hands hey he could dart from one end to the other one spot that we needs to throw punches into the next one get there first he is always the first one to get into the next punching zone and he could get there and fire in the same motion he could slip a punch and then throw a punch now once in a while he'll pay but I mean, Guerrero landed a couple of shots in this round. But, I mean, look at that. He threw about five or six punches, and uh, Mayweather just slips right out of that corner. Kind of like a grease pig at a fair. You can't catch him. 
And yet, unlike a lot of guys that dart and move, Mayweather has enough on his punches to totally discourage his opponents, slow them down. And you just look at the face of Guerrero now. He's got uh, a mouse underneath each eye. Oh, he's landing Don't some push, shots. Don't, don't Mayweather, push. you know, he's dictating the flow and pace of this fight totally. Mayweather will not hit you with a lot of punches that are 10 in the power department, but every right hand he hits you with is at least seven. And he hits you with so many of them during the course of a round. I mean, how many is that in this round? Seven, eight? Yeah, and all? He's got the weight distribution, so he's able to put that in there and quickly turn what looks like an off-balance shot into a power punch. He waits, he waits now, he waits. And he jumps up there with that right hand, and there's the bell ending. That's all you gotta do, man. You the boss of this, you run this. Take a look at more vintage Floyd. Makes some miss and makes some pay. Instantaneous recognition of the punching opportunity. Then the big right hand, he ducks away, and look how quickly he is back in punching position. He senses it. It's extraordinary. And I don't know if you folks could hear it at home, but his dad, Floyd Mayweather, a senior who's training for this fight, says to him, you just do what you're doing. I mean, this is, he said, this is just going just the way you want it. He said, this guy's an amateur. Well, they're thrilled in the corner what they're seeing of Floyd Mayweather. And Floyd's got to be pretty happy with himself so far. We start the second half of the fight as we go to round seven. And at this stage, you got to look for Guerrero, elbows, heads, uh, different things because he's got to be a frustrated fighter right now as he walks into a right hand. This guy's getting beat to the punch and a guy that's got as much grit and has been through as much in life as this guy has. Can't like it. Nobody likes to get beat up. Especially a prize fighter with this guy. And I, I disagree with the fact that he's an amateur fighter. He's a very good fighter. But who's in the league with Floyd Mayweather? And, and when he hits you with that first oh, right you, hand, watch your head, watch your head, watch your head. It's powerful enough that in most situations, if you wanted to, he could throw combinations. You don't see many combinations from Floyd Mayweather. You see a pot shot, and it's a work of art, and he sets up the next shot. And normally, if you're fighting a guy and you can't catch up to him, odds are he's not hitting you that much either. But Mayweather changes all that. You can't hit him, and he can hit you. The first time, Floyd said something to say to Guerrero before Robert broke him up in there. Punch you get out, guys. Punch you get out. Again, the ref uh, allowing them to fight on the inside, which I like. They are one man free, and he's letting them use it. A lot of jockeying on the inside. And this might be cruising time for Floyd. If you notice for a second, Guerrero actually went southpaw jabbing with his right hand. Trying to do something to try to catch up with this guy. Robert lets him fight on the inside again, saying, punch and get out. And that's why we'll see a little bit of Mayweather to the body. That's one thing we have not seen a lot of in this fight tonight. Body work from Mayweather. It's, it's pot shot, open season to the head. He waits, he waits, he holds his position instead of pulling out that time. He changes everything up. You just don't know what to expect. It's hard to time anything with this guy. That's when you think he's going to pull out, he'll stop and plant and throw back at him. And this is a round that I think that Mayweather, you know, kind of coasted a bit on, but he still did plenty. Again, scheduled for the championship 12 rounds. At stake, the WBC and vacant ring magazine, 147-pound championship of the world. That's the welterweight division. Floyd Mayweather to the right of your screen in the gold trim on his black uh, trunks, or maybe you want to call them gold trunks with black trim. And in the red and white is the ghost Guerrero, who hasn't been much of a ghost. 
for Mayweather tonight as he punch us up again with the right hand. Is it time for Guerrero to try and rough this guy up? And nothing is going his way. We get to focus on different things with Mayweather. And he's launching his punch as he's quickly moving his feet, mastering both activities simultaneously. There's usually a little bit of a break between one activity and the other, a split second, but not with him. So he's accomplishing two things at one time, his movement and the punch. And that's what is a separator for him. And meanwhile, while neither fighter has been down and nobody visibly shaken, the left eye of uh, Guerrero is starting to get busted up by those right hands and just by sheer number of those, as Dave, point, Dave Von Temple points out, this seven-point Richter scale right-hand punches. Reaches downstairs. I, there may be a cut above the uh, left eye of Guerrero. There's certainly blood on that side. I don't know if it's from underneath or up above. But Floyd continues to just pot shot right on top of it. As one of those examples where he puts the arm out and then all of a sudden there's three or four more inches left. Nice uppercut. We'll see some body work from Mayweather, which is the one thing that hasn't been in his attack tonight because the right hand pot shots to the head have been there. Boy, these solid, solid right hand shots to the face of Guerrero. Now he goes downstairs and bends Guerrero right at the waist. And you look for the uppercut. Everything is going perfect for Floyd. It's hand speed, Dave. I mean, he's just masterful with that hand speed. He hasn't lost any of it. It doesn't show in this fight at all if he's lost any. And he's doing things you really cannot teach a fighter because you can't teach a guy the instinct of how to see all the opportunities that are there. This is instinct. This is all rhythm by Mayweather. You know, he instantly this... size up what's there. Yeah. Oh, look at the right hand there that crashes to the eye of Guerrero. That eye is going to be very, very sore, and it's closing right up. Boy tees off, and the crowd gets into it as he lands about three or four hard ones leading up to these closing seconds of the round. This is a very good body shot, too. Yes. Now, I'll tell you, the question for me is how much longer... Ken Guerrero, or will Robert Byrd allow him to take punishment? I mean, this is for a world title, and nobody's been down, and Guerrero's fighting well, and the putt's not that bad, but he's just not winning any rounds, and he's taking a lot of shots to the head. This is a fight, a beating like this, Dave, that Guerrero may never be the same fighter again. No, it, the, the constant bombardment with the level of punches Mayweather has can do that to you. What we're talking about... How would you possibly try to change it up? If you're going to try to rough Mayweather up, you have to do it immediately when the round starts. After you're fresh and you've had the minute off. Because as it progresses, you see the energy just drain out of Guerrero. And you don't see any drain of energy for the 36-year-old fighter. And I started to say at the end of the last round, you know, this is where these long layoffs that Floyd has had in his career in between fights begin to pay dividends now between the nine time he's 36 and 38 when this big contract with the showtime network this 200 to 300 million dollar deal that he signed will end and that will probably be the end of his career but at this stage you know to have had those layoffs and even i mean with the year that he's been off now it's been just about a year two year two months in prison where the food wasn't that great and he couldn't train but it just nothing affects this guy Look at him. Now, because he's got all the reflexes. That's the big thing with Mayweather. His okay, ability to size up this situation and punch at the same time is what puts him in a class by himself. I mean, coming into the fight, everybody said, you know, he should win. He, he noses him out in all of these different areas. The Ring Magazine broke down every possible area that you could possibly think of, which Mayweather wins everything. And just all that accumulation of little things is adding up to what you're seeing right here. A master against just a very, very good fighter. And a guy could tend to hit you with one punch and then not open himself up for a brawl. With all that Guerrero did in that quarter, he came away with basically nothing. 
20 seconds to go. Meanwhile, the pace because of Guerrero forcing the fight has been pretty fast. Well, the 36-year-old legs of Floyd, who's always in great shape. It's another thing you can say for him. In terms of an athlete, he's a tremendous athlete. Takes his training very, very serious. Ten in the scheduled 12-round championship fight. Guerrero hasn't won a round since the first round, if in fact he won that. I get it 89-82. The judges could have it a perfect shutout if they gave Mayweather the first round. Guerrero trying to work on him in that corner, trying to rough him up a little bit. But you see who the ring general is? It's Mayweather. He's the one that dictated how long they stayed in the corner. The ghost couldn't keep him in there when he decided he was coming out. There's the double jab by Mayweather, a right hand and a left hook. Four nice punches in a 15-second time frame. And his balance was perfect with all of it. Now, the balance, the coordination, the timing, the speed, it's all there for play. Plus, he's a, he is a masterful boxer. I mean, this guy really knows what he's doing in there. I mean, these things don't just happen. This is all a training in his ring sense. Lifts him with the left hand that time. He's looking to line up and on the right hand as he circles that left hand around. You see that right hand fly right down the middle. What you're watching with Mayweather is someone with that rare sixth sense up, that instinctively knows in every small situation hey, hey, stop. where the opening is. If a guy moves this way, it opens up this. If he moves that way, it opens up that. And he has the tenacity to pour that punch through in that small opening, whatever it is. And that opening always changes, the situation always changes, but he seizes it. You're, you're so right, David. Massive box that I could compare with this kind of ability over my career would be that of the Hall of Famer Ricardo Benito Lopez, a Mexican fighter who fought at the minimum weight, so most people in the world didn't know him, but I called a lot of his fights, and he was a masterful boxer as well. And Floyd, Floyd's right there, especially defensive. But Floyd might even be better than Ricardo defensive. Well, I don't think there's ever been anybody better we've seen that can shift from defense to offense and back so easily, effortlessly. And look at just that move there, just as you say it, makes uh, Guerrero look so awkward just by a little push. And again, that's positioning, timing, and a little push. Right through the ropes he goes. The, he's leaning forward on his left foot, and you think, okay, it has to be a jab, right? But then he surges forward, putting weight through his body, and lands a right hand in what would be a jab situation. <laughs> and just as you said it, just as you described it, almost as if it were a cue from Davy Boy from Bunt Depo, he executed the right hand. There. All right, here we go. It's championship time now as we go to the 11th round here. And let's see if Guerrero can do anything to crawl into this fight. Floyd up on the toes, bouncing back and forth. He'll just continue to pot shot this guy. It's worked throughout the fight. But the amazing thing is, is how much he's got left in his legs at this stage in the fight. He's just going to let uh, Robert Bird separate the two. Looks across the ring and winks at somebody, does uh, Mayweather. I mean, just total awareness of everything that's going on in here. It's a guy that's had his, uh, his moments with Dancing with the Stars. And uh, he uses the ring like a dance floor. Kovorts, and even at that, it. I don't know how many people saw that, but even in that, it showed his athletic skills. Floyd Mayweather continues to back off. The ghost tries to put pressure on him, but he's just making a miss. Frustrating. Robert, who has been anything but a ghost in terms of how many shots he's been hit with tonight. By the way, I mean, while things aren't going well for Guerrero, you got to say this guy really came totally prepared for this fight. I mean, he's in tremendous physical condition. He's still battling here in the 11th round, and he's been the guy that's, you know, been doing the chase and getting hit most of the time. You know, you can compare long-distance runners or swimmers to boxers and stamina, but they don't get hit. 
mean, look at this guy. Look at the hand speed still of Floyd Mayweather Jr. He wouldn't mind closing the show. Oh, he'd love the to knockout win. after everything he has shown up to this point. Yeah, there he comes with the uppercut. He's not giving ground right now like he wants to plant and drive that right hand through the head of Guerrero, not at the head, through the head. Mike Tyson said, that. I used to punch the back of a guy's head. I mean, through the forehead or through the nose. Well, Floyd's got in mind now. He ducks underneath and around with the left, bounces back to the right, sets up with the left hand, still looking to land the big powerful right. But notice the legs. Approaching just 30 seconds left, and the hand speed continues to pummel Robert Guerrero. By frustrating, look at a place to plant that left hand power shot. A lot of guys who move as much as Mayweather does usually waste half the round with their movement and not punching. That's one of the things that has made him special. That he moves and is right into the punching range. Yeah, the way he gets, you know, you think he's off balance, he gets through, he's uh, set back up and he's ready to go again. Well, here comes the bell to end the 11th round, another Mayweather round for sure. Dave and I to get ready for the call of fight tonight. Appreciate their efforts and the staff at Showtime. This is the 12th and final round. It's been all Mayweather since at least the second round, and maybe they've given him all the rounds, but uh, Guerrero would need to knock him out, and it's not going to happen. Guerrero still trying to do everything he can do to make uh, this fight turn in his favor, but Floyd's just too much for him. Floyd up on the toes. This is the 12th round. Look at the 36-year-old legs. Do they look like 36-year-old legs to you? No, you still advanced. have that spring, and you still have the agility. You still have the athleticism. He's put in the work. The crowd wants to see a knockout in the end. And they're booing because Floyd's staying away from them. They should be cheering one of the most masterful boxing shows you could possibly appreciate if you're a 15 hour of the sport. Maybe they're booing because of how they bet. Yeah, well, I like to be two in this time. They want to see the violence of boxing. Just the uh, exquisite ability of Mayweather to bounce away. Jab, keep Guerrero away, turn him, and then he's right back on him. Not doing anything to take oh, any chances. Minute and 30 seconds to go in the fight. All Mayweather. Every round with perhaps the first might have gone to Guerrero. We'll see. But it's academic. It doesn't make any difference because it's been all Mayweather. Floyd looks at him. Invites him in. Ties him up. Does exactly what he wants to do, Dave. Talk about ring generalship. He's been the ring general throughout. It really has been a stellar performance. And you're watching one of the all-time greats. No I think he put it together it. in so many different facets. He made it look easy against a very good fighter in Guerrero. Right, let's work out. That is the hand speed. Approaching 30 seconds left, the crowd loves it. He's gonna put on his show maybe here for the last 30 seconds of the fight. But that's all it is now. This is all but in the books. As Guerrero loads up his left hand, Mayweather waits, and as he gets lost, he beats him there with the right hand. Just another one of those situations he instinctively sees. Only 10 seconds to go in the fight now. It's just about over. The crowd comes to its feet, and they cheer as one as Floyd Mayweather has given a boxing lesson to Robert Guerrero. Now, well, it was one-sided, but it was certainly entertaining to watch the massive boxing of Floyd Mayweather. 119 to 109. That's the way I scored it, and it could be 120 to 108. Yep. You can't find them. Only uh, Mayweather can make a lopsided fight look fun. Well, he had a good time, for sure. 
Hey, it was fun down here for us. We won, me, huh? Watching all the, the nuances of what he is able to perfect. He ran like a chicken. <laughs> His dad actually thinks he won the fight. Well, they, they, they said, uh, you know, anytime you can't reach a guy, you like to say that he runs, but Mayweather positions himself. You're the only decent guy in that camp. Thank you, sir. Boy, Floyd, Floyd, Floyd Jr. telling them, they don't even pay any attention to him. Because I think Guerrero went over and kind of apologized for his camp. And Floyd Sr. says, you're the only decent guy in that camp. And Floyd says, yeah, just let it go, let it go. That's a change, though, isn't it? And Floyd's all attitude because... He won, yeah, he ran, baby. He ran, Are you going to fight a guy that's not right? Well, they're setting Guerrero up for some hard work in his corner. Yes, they are. It started out in the first round, very, very close round, almost too tight to call. I uh, gave it to Guerrero just based on one punch that I saw, which was that vicious body punch, and the rest of the way was just a massive boxing uh, show. Here's Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, the judges are in agreement. We have a unanimous decision. All three judges scored about the same. 117 to 111. All three in favor of the winner, and still champion, Floyd Money Mayweather. Well, someplace along the line, the judges...